Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers. This is your tarot and oracle reading for the, not for the week ahead. Oh my God. <laughs> this is your bonus love reading for September. There we go. It's going to be real quick. So we have chemistry coming out. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Some of you guys are having these deeper and deeper desires to uh, connect with somebody, somebody in general, um, or even somebody in particular. And you're just feeling drawn to them, magnetized to them. Uh, maybe even, I don't know, I'm just seeing like an increase in feelings here. Even if you're single as a Pringle, not talking to anybody, it's like an increase of feelings of like, man, I want to put my heart out there. But uh, when I think of chemistry, I think of like being able to have great conversations uh, for many, many hours with somebody and not feel like it's forced. And also just feeling this sort of magnetic desire to hold them, to snuggle them, to kiss them and more. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we see that sort of popping up here for you. We have the new moon in Libra. A new romantic cycle begins. Oh my gosh. I do kind of feel this strongly for Capricorn. It's not just for September though. This new moon in Libra is actually happening and it's a solar eclipse on the 2nd of October. So guys, this eclipse season is going to be really big for Capricorn. I feel it. Uh, so we have an eclipse, Pisces lunar eclipse on uh, September 19th. That starts off eclipse season for us. I will be doing an eclipse season reading for your sign as well. So keep an eye open for that. Subscribe and turn the notifications on to be notified when I post that. And that from the 19th, all the way up to October 2nd, it's basically like the peak of eclipse season. We'll be feeling this energy a little bit before and a little bit after that as well. And um, yeah, new moon in Libra is pretty intense, guys. <laughs> this is love, a new romantic cycle begins. And I just want to say that these moonology cards, they're not particularly romantic in nature. So the fact that we're doing a love reading and you got a romantic card, like, yeah, this is, this is romance. I feel for a lot of Capricorns, you could be talking to somebody new in September, uh, developing a new relationship with somebody for sure. <laughs> it feels very strong here, uh, especially uh, in October. It may be very emotionally significant for you, but uh, September is sort of setting up the scene for that. I think during this eclipse season in particular, there, there's go it's going to become very clear to you this month um, who you're going to have a future with is what I'm basically seeing. Even friendship wise, like you're going to really know, okay, this is somebody I'm going to be friends with for many years to come. And this is somebody I might not be friends with for many years to come. This is somebody who I am, I'm going to get deep feelings for very quickly. I can already tell that. You know what I mean? You're getting these sort of insights into your love life. So six cards, two rows of three. First card out is the eight of swords. Feeling a little bit trapped. There could be uh, some feelings that you just cannot seem to shake from the past. Uh, that you've been really... I don't know, feeling mentally stuck with these feelings. Um, for example, this could be feelings for an ex or somebody who is no longer in your life anymore. Uh, you just can't seem to shake the feeling. And with all eights, you know, give this message of feeling intuitively drawn to moving forward. You know, your daydreams, your thoughts, your dreams may be guiding you to sort of quote unquote move on or move forward, but you just can't seem to completely 100% let go of some sort of past connection. So we do see you going into September uh, within that mindset. But then, yeah, we have the hangman in reverse. It's like, it, it gets to a point where it's like, I don't feel like these feelings are ever truly going to go away. And they'll just become a lot less suffering oriented uh, when I open my heart up to new people, new situations, etc. You know, hangman in reverse is really pointing to a situation where you're still hanging on or hanging on to hope for someone or something, even if it's subconscious, even if it's not like entirely like a conscious process here, like low key hoping that they'll come back, low key hoping or not even hoping that they'll come back, but like just kind of hanging on to the past or the old uh, energies there for whatever reason that may be. And it really isn't serving you or your love life. Uh, in September. So that's something that you want to be mindful of. Uh, if, if you're still in contact with anybody, for even if it's an ex that you're just friends with and you don't want to get back with at all, you know, does it really serve your present day relationships, people you may be dating and, and future loves uh, by holding on to that connection? I don't know. These are some things you may want to consider. We have judgment. <laughs> wow. Wow. 
it's it's really interesting because past meets present meets future seems to be a really massive theme for you in your love life. There could be people who you have a history with that are different from the people you have a history with that you're stuck on. Okay. <laughs> this is so complicated. And um, you may be deciding, you know what, this is awesome. Like you may be, for example, seeing old friends move back to your town. You may be um, giving people you dated in the past a second chance, but not not people you had a full-blown relationship with or there was toxicity there. Maybe people you went on one or two dates with and you, know, you just kind of fell off or whatever. You may be giving people like that a second chance or people, maybe you went to the same school. Maybe you were neighbors at one point in time. You know, there's some sort of, history that I'm picking up on. Um, it's not somebody who's completely like a stranger to you. Uh, and they may be coming back around in the month of September and also October. I don't know why this feels like it also will apply to October as well. Uh, so you may be, that may be somehow playing out in your love life in some way, shape or form. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Mm, let's see what comes out next to this. Two of Pentacles. And we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Wow. Yes, this is a massive confirmation of like, there is an element here of like deciding who stays and goes. Like, who are you leaving in the past and who's moving forward with you? Uh, in the future, it's becoming very extremely clear. Now, with the Knight of Cups coming out in reverse, though, this typically does represent somebody who is a little bit love bomby. <laughs> you know, maybe they are so excited and they talk about all these plans that they want to do with you like oh we could hang out we could do this we could do that and they're really intense in the beginning but then they drop off in intensity um quite quickly they burn out quite quickly if there's anybody like that in your life it's a no-go for me <laughs> i would say um don't bother don't waste your time with that knight of cups in reverse is somebody who is addicted to the honeymoon stage they're addicted to the romance, but do they have what it takes to make something uh, more long-term happen here? Another thing I'm seeing is there could be somebody in your life who is going through a breakup or recently went through like a separation, but it's not like finalized. Like for example, this is really random example. Somebody may be going through a divorce. The divorce is not yet finalized, but they're separated and they're open to dating. You know, you might be meeting somebody like that. There could be somebody like that in your life somewhere. I'm not sure. And overall, you're just sort of trying to balance your other areas of life with your love life. I think there's an acknowledgement here that, um, there's certainly love trying to come in, especially with Libra season on the way. Libra season begins on the 22nd. I really feel like from September 17th to like the end of October or like the end of Libra season, it's going to be real significant. Libra season is on the 22nd. Um, that's also when autumn begins. So whew, yeah, a new romantic cycle is beginning and it feels like you're letting go, you're releasing the past entirely, trying to, you know, also letting go of the trauma that you may have um, encountered in the past and how that may affect your present day love life and how you look at people in the present day. You may be exploring that a little bit. So very interesting, kind of all over the place. Um, definitely enjoy this month. Watch for your sun, moon, rising and Venus signs, especially your Venus signs to get the fullest overview of this love message. And like this video, comment how it resonated down below. Subscribe if you've not already. If you want a personal reading with me one-on-one, -on -one, the link to that is always in the description box, spiritpsychic.org. I also offer my intention oils there and spiritual life coaching sessions there. So check it out. Bye-bye.